Hey everybody, Security Dave here, and today we're going to be setting up two-step verification on your Google account. This is also commonly known as two-factor authentication, so I'm going to call it that from now on. Uh, so we'll need a couple prereqs for this video. You'll need a computer to uh, set up your account. You'll need a smartphone, either an iOS or an Android device. And you'll obviously need a Google account. So what is two, uh, two-factor authentication? It's a, an additional layer of security for your Google account and oftentimes other accounts that you may have. You know, if somebody was able to guess or they had your password for another reason, uh, they would not be able to actually log into your account without this second step of verification. So when your phone, the application that we'll set up today, will generate a six-digit code that you have to enter on new computers when you log in. So let's go ahead and get started setting up two-factor authentication on your Google account. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. What you'll need to do is go to myaccount.google.com on your web browser, and it should take you to this page. You may need to sign in with your Google account, and then head over to the security section. So from the security section, it's going to, you can see this signing into Google section down here, and there's two prompts right here that are immediately available. We'll use our phone to sign in, or we're going to set up two-step verification. So let's go ahead and go straight to the two-step verification. Uh, using your phone to sign in is another way. These kind of lead you down the same path, sort of. So, you know, just for simplicity's sake of the naming, let's go with the two-step verification process. So now, what it's going to say is, each time you sign into Google, you'll need your password and a verification code extra layer of security. Basically, if somebody has your password, this will prevent them from getting access to your account. So you'll want to, if you ever get a prompt or a notification that your account was, you know, say, it'll say, um, is this you trying to log into your account? If you ever get that prompt and it's not you, make sure you change your password immediately. So let's go ahead and get started and go through the whole process here. So it's going to ask me to confirm what my password is, and I'm going to use my password manager to copy my password since I don't know what it is, which is a good idea for, you know, a shameless plug for the KeyPass and LastPass videos that I've done in the past. And hit next. And now it's going to say use your phone as the second sign in step. So you can send a secure notification to your phone as a second factor authentication. So it's already determined that this is my device because my Google account is logged in on my phone. If you don't see your device, you may have to go back and set up your uh, account on your phone so that, you know, like it's, it's listed in the account section under settings. So if you get your email and things like that on your phone already, you should be set up and ready to go. If you don't, you may have to go through the troubleshooting steps here. So let's go ahead and hit try it now. Since it already knows my device, it says Google sent a prompt to my phone and on my phone here it says trying to sign in from another computer and it lists the email address and it says I'm on a Windows 10 device which looks right and it says the time is just now and it gives me my location so I hit yes and it says alright you're all set now we've set up the prompt notification on our phone so that's the yes no is it you trying to sign in it's a nice interactive way to know if you ever get that prompt and you're not trying to sign in, immediately change your password. Somebody has your password, they haven't gotten into your account because they need you to hit yes. If you were to hit yes, then they would be able to log in. You know, so never hit yes if you don't know who it is that's actually trying to get into the account. So as, an, as a backup option, if you lose your phone or a second step is unavailable, you'll need a backup option. So this is um, your phone number essentially. They can either text or phone call, give you a phone call with a robo voice. It gives you a six digit code typically. So I'm going to enter, I'm going to black this out and put in my phone number and hit send. And now it's going to text me a verification code. So the verification code is a six digit number and you just put it in right here and you hit next. All right. So now turn on two-step verification. So this is just confirming that yes, you want to turn it on. So the first step, 
Well, it says second step. So the second, the first step is your password. The second step is the Google prompt. That'll be the default. And the backup option is a voice or text message. So for instance, if you were to lose your phone, say, and you transferred your number from your old phone, which had maybe your prompt set up to a new phone, you can still get that voice or text message on your phone number and then hit turn on. So now Google prompt is turned on. So I'm going to actually log out and log back in. And enter my password. And now my phone just says, is this you trying to sign in? And as you can see down here, the default is don't ask again on this computer. Now, if you were at a public computer, you were at a library, you were using somebody else's computer that's not your own, you'd want to uncheck that. But for now, I'm on my own personal computer here, so I'm going to leave that checked, and I'm going to hit yes on my phone, and it's going to log me in. So now another option. Let's go over to security, and we go to two-step verification. And I have to confirm it's me again with my password. So when you change security settings on your account, you'll have to know your password in case you say were logged into your Google account and walked away from your computer and somebody else came in and was like, hey, let's add a something something to my account. You know, maybe maybe somebody didn't, uh, you know, they wanted to add a, another Google prompt so they could log in another time, that sort of thing. So they wouldn't be allowed to do that. You can add additional phones. You can also add the Google Authenticator app, which is more of a traditional way of doing the um, Google prompt. Now, if you're satisfied with the prompt, you don't have to go any further. We, you can skip ahead to the end. Uh, but the let's go through the Authenticator app as well. So this Authenticator app is where you'll get six-digit codes generated. It's very similar to the text message or the voice option, except it's on your phone and it doesn't you know, it's not relying on, a, on, a, on an SMS or a voice message. Uh, so as a prereq to this, if you want to use your Authenticator app, you'll have to either go to the Google Play Store and download Google Authenticator, like shown here, or you'll have to go to the App Store and download uh, Google Authenticator as well. So this is kind of a screenshot of what the Authenticator app looks like. There's really not much to it. It will have your, after we've added it, added the account, it will have the email address and like Google next to it so that it will, you'll know what account it's associated with. And then it will have these six digit codes. And then this little pie wheel here is just a timer that counts down. So every time the timer gets to, to blank or white, this number rolls over to a different uh, six digit code. So let's go ahead and set up the Authenticator app. I'm using Android, so I'm going to leave it as Android. If you're using iPhone, use use the iPhone and you come into authenticator and you can see I'm gonna black this out here but this is a barcode that you would scan with your device so open the Google authenticator and use the barcode scanner it says scan a barcode and hold your phone up to the barcode where it puts a little red square around it and it says secret saved and now the next step your phone should be generating six digit codes so now the next step is to enter the first the code that you see on the screen. If you're near the end of time, just give it a second to wait till it rolls over. And then type in your code and hit enter. Now you're done. Now when you log in, it will do the Google prompt as the default. But if you were to need, um, you know, oftentimes you'll have these two things on the same device. Maybe you don't, you know, maybe you have the Google authenticator on a, on a tablet that you have that sits at home all the time and your Google prompt is on a phone. You know, that might be a backup way to have uh, the authenticator app on two different devices. Cause right now, if I lost my phone, I wouldn't be able to do any of these. So I wouldn't be able to get the Google prompt uh, because my phone's gone. The authenticator app is also on my phone and the voice or text message is linked to my phone. So until I got a new phone linked to this number, uh, I would be, I would be out of luck. So, you know, maybe set up authenticator app as a, um, on a, on a separate device. Maybe you have a tablet or a different phone or something like that sitting at home. And then 
the voice or text message. If you, I mean, most people don't have home phone lines anymore, but if you had a home phone line or something like that, you could set up as a voice call to a home phone line or... You know, it didn't say Google Voice. You, you said you can't use a Google Voice, so you maybe you have it set up to something else. Um, you know, that, that would be your alternative methods. So now that we're all set up, you're, you've now have the Google Prompt and a, uh, the Google Authenticator app set up. So each one of those will prompt you when you log in to make sure that it is you. Thank you for joining me and learning how to set up two-factor authentication on your Google account. If you have any suggestions for video topics, please leave me a comment below or email me directly. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks again.